Alrighty, we're going to get into the middle part of the green book for Words of Their Way. And we're going to look at sort 29 today. And these are the meanings of some of the words in this sort. And it is the unaccented final syllable. And all of these words end in L-E. And I'm going to go over the meanings of about eight words. And if you're having trouble with the sort itself, I usually don't go over the sort, but I'm, for this week's a little bit tricky, so I'll give you some notes on the sort at the end of this video. But we're going to start with some of the words. Now, most of the words I'm going to give you today are nouns, so they're actually easier to learn. And I will try to find pictures for most of these words, but we'll start with the word bridle. And a bridle is the straps that go around a horse's head and mouth. And again, easy to see with a picture. This is called the bridle. And you use it to control the horse, but it's called a bridle. And one other quick note about bridle, there is a homophone for bridle, which is spelled like this. When it's spelled like this, you're talking about an adjective for uh, the bride at a wedding. So like there's a bridal shower, it's like a party for the bride. That is a different type of bridal. This week our word is spelled like this and that's what it means. Next up, let's do the word bugle. And a bugle is an instrument, it's almost like a trumpet, but the difference is there are no keys here. A trumpet has three keys and a bugle there are no keys. You just change the music with your um, lips, the sounds. You don't need keys. So if you were to compare them, the trumpet is definitely more complicated. It's got um, more the three keys and there's more going on. And a bugle is simple. And then the other thing about a bugle is it's often used in the military. So if you have like an army um, who's fighting in a battle, back in the olden days, they could only communicate with sounds they didn't have radios or things so they um, would play the bugle to communicate and they would also play it in the morning to wake people up and they would play it in the evening when they go to bed um, so at the end of this video i'll post a link to uh, some bugle music i'll find something so you can see what it's like but that's a bugle and then while we're on the topic of the military let's make our next word rifle and a rifle is a long gun which would look like that and it's often used for hunting or for the military or whatever but it's a gun that has a long this is called the barrel of the gun that's the long part and you put that on your shoulder that's a rifle so next up let's do the word cradle which is a small baby bed and usually if you look here it rocks so you can if the baby's crying or whatever you can rock the cradle and get the baby to go to sleep and one other definition here it can also mean to hold something tenderly or gently so if you had a baby you would cradle it in your arms like you are the cradle or maybe like a small kitten or puppy you would cradle in your arms so you would hold it tenderly which also means gently all right we'll do four more quick ones so you might know some of these last four but let's go ahead we'll call it a stick with a flat end for boats so this would be for rowing a boat like an oar or for sports like table tennis you use a paddle and it's a stick with a flat end on it so these are both paddles and you can also use paddle as a verb um, which is like moving yourself forward in the water either in a boat or even just swimming, you could paddle to move yourself forward in the water. And a couple quick ones, you might already know these. Um, the word single literally means one and only one. So for example, uh, if someone is not married, they say they are single because there's only one of them. Or in baseball, if you hit the ball and run to one base, it's called a single because you just had one. Um, there's different ways you can use it, but basically all of them mean one. And you probably know giggle, but just to be sure. Uh, but it means to laugh. Most people know that, but it's in a silly or nervous way. It's a giggle. And then let's just do one last word, which is tremble. And tremble means 
to shake, but with an emphasis on um, cold fear or excitement. You're shaking because you're, uh, probably the most common is from fear. You tremble because you're scared of something. It could also be because of cold or excitement, but that is tremble. And that is all the words for today. I think we've got about eight of them total. There they are. And I did say I'll talk quickly about this sort. If you're having trouble with that, then I'll link to um, some bugle music at the end. So let's look at this sort just quickly. So here are your categories. And basically, we're looking at where the syllables uh, meet in the middle of the word and what's going on there in terms of vowels and consonants. So doublet is probably the easiest one to figure out. Those are the ones with a double consonant in the middle. So apple would be a doublet. And if you have just one consonant, <clears throat> for example, cradle, you have a vowel, one consonant, and then le. That would go to this category. And then something like candle would go there because you have your vowel, and then two consonants, cc, that aren't doublets before your le. So just to show three more examples, how about title, little, and simple would be some other examples. But one last thing that you probably didn't catch or realize here is that when you have vc, le, it is a long vowel sound. So the vowel is going to, sound is going to be A, E, I, O, U. If you have a double consonant, it is going to be a short vowel sound, which would be A, E, E, A, and A. Uh. So just test that here. Cradle, that's a long A sound. Apple, candle, those are short A sounds. Title, I, title, that's a long vowel sound. Little and simple, that's a short. It. So it works like that on the whole list. You might want to check them out on your own, but trust me, it works. And that is the end. And now I think it's time for some bugle music, and I'll link to some other word study videos here if you're interested. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.